Hi everybody, it's Brian, Southern Maryland Fishing. We're here to talk to you today about understanding tides and how it relates to your fishing as a tidal fisherman. There's so many things that can have an influence upon your fishing when you're fishing tidal waters. Uh, but one of the most important things to think about and consider, and you should really try to understand, is the tidal cycle. Um, everybody has heard that thing, that old saying that, you know, I should have been here yesterday. Um, I don't know that it's so much about yesterday as much as it was about being there at the right tide time. Um, as recreational fishermen, we only have a limited opportunity to fish. Uh, we can't just go at any time. We have to sort of plan our opportunities. And this can really help you succeed in your fishing. Well, what you got to understand, <clears throat> as tide moves in through a channel and it comes into areas like grass flats and it comes into maybe areas such as riprap um, on jetties or um, maybe finger piers on docks, well, what happens is those bait fish follow that water because they now have access to feeding areas that they didn't have access to before, up in these grass flats, over near these finger piers, up on these rocks and these jetties. And what will happen is your larger predator fish are going to follow them in. They're going to follow those bait fish. And this is where it gets really good, is when that tide starts to fall and you've got an outgoing high tide, these fish are going to fall back off, these bait fish are going to fall back off of these structures and these covers and these areas where they've been feeding and they're going to get pulled back to these larger channels. Well, what's going to happen, these bait fish are going to concentrate in these areas and your predator fish, your rock fish, your striped bass, um, these fish are going to then have this opportunity to ambush and feed on these bait fish as they're pulled back into these larger channels and out into this water, uh, deeper water. So what you want to do is look for those areas where you've got uh, access to this cover, you've got bait fish that are able to, to be up in, these, in these, these grass areas, up on these finger piers, um, and then on that falling tide, um, you're going to want to be there to fish for these. Now, how can this affect your, affect your fishing? Um, you've got to know when the tides are, and it uh, used to be that was a pretty big deal, but with the internet today, um, it's, it's a piece of cake. Uh, look in the link down below in the article. And Maryland DNR, the fisheries division, has a great website uh, where you can plug in your location and then based on your location and your time and your day, um, you can actually get tide cycles. Uh, so you'll be able to find, as a recreational fisherman, you have that limited opportunity. Well now you can figure out where's the right place to be at the right time based on those tides. And it'll really help you succeed with your fishing. So check that link out down below and uh, get out there catch them good.